Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today uh, we are going to do uh, an SQL project where we are going to study about how to analyze like social media analysis, okay? So in this project, we are going to analyze the Instagram user analytics, okay? So this is the pretty much simple project, but uh, let's understand in deep like how analysis is done and then how we can make use of MySQL workbench and do the analysis, okay? So let's understand what is the project. Okay, so here is the description of the project. So, so basically, Instagram user analysis is the process by which we track how users engage and interact with our digital product. That is, uh, it may be a software or a mobile application or any other e-commerce uh, site. Okay, so in an attempt to derive business insights for marketing, product, and development teams. So why the analysis is done here is because uh, uh, as you want to grow the business, right? So if you want to analyze and understand who are the potential customers so that you can target them and increase your business so as to earn some profit. Okay. So these insights are then used by teams across the business to launch a new marketing campaign, then decide on features to build for an app. Okay. So track the success of the app by measuring user engagement and improve the experience altogether. So after this analysis, uh, we track the experience of the users and then we analyze the situations uh, basically thoroughly and then we try to increase the engagement of the customers or the users. Okay. So uh, first we need to do uh, like uh, this is the project, right? So this is like uh, with respect to with with respect to business perspective. Uh, we need to come to these points or uh, come to understand these points and give them some suitable answers so uh, with respect to marketing uh, so suppose you are running a marketing company or the organization then your team wants to launch some campaigns and they need your help with the following okay so uh, this will be the question asked with the business stakeholders in order to increase the uh, app usage okay so here uh, since we are doing analysis on instagram uh, so here we need to understand instagram like what it is so it is a social platform where users post their photos and videos uh, like uh, influencing others or their passion okay so uh, with respect to the first question rewarding most loyal users okay so people who have been using this platform for the longest time your task so our task is find the five oldest users of the instagram from the database provided okay so with respect to this project we have this data set here so this i will attach in the uh, description you can have it so once you download this data set you can go to mysql workbench okay so when we go to mysql workbench uh, this is the data set will be formed and these are the tables here as you can see there are comments then follows likes photo tags photos tags and users okay so comments are nothing but if a user comments on some other user or the picture okay or the post then those are known as comments so follows are nothing but how many people are following you likes are nothing but how many people have liked your photos so tags are nothing but there are some hashtags which help uh, in user engagement and to uh, get the better reach so photos are nothing but the images so tags are nothing but if you and your friend have traveled to the same spot then you can uh, tag each other and these are the details of the user okay so this is the instagram user analytics uh, simple project so basically we need to understand like uh, how it is done so we will try to understand how we are doing it and then come back to the conclusion okay so the first step is uh, use ig clone so we will select the database here so that is the database as you can see there are uh, many tables okay so if you want to get uh, the uh, like the data types of the particular table then what you can do is you can type describe users okay so if you type this you will get the details of the users here okay so this is how you get so id is int and username is uh, varchar255 and created at timestamp okay so this is the primary key id and then default is none okay so these are some of the description of the data set so let's uh, get the data from the uh, data set like let's understand how the data is so select star from users here okay so once you do this you will get what all things are present in the tables so as you can see there are 100 records here and then let's extend this a bit okay 
so here are 100 records so basically they have an id username and created it so our first business question was like uh this is the first question where it is where it has been gone okay let's go control c yeah so this is the first question find the five oldest users of the instagram from the database provided so you need to uh, understand this database first look into what all things are present here okay and then we need to come to conclusion where uh, we need to retrieve five oldest users so basically five oldest users in the sense uh, we need to uh, deal with the users uh, table right so select star from users we are doing here so once you do this you will get the details of the users okay so as you can see there is one column created at which basically gives us details at uh, what date it is created so you can write this query select username then created at from users so users is nothing but the table then we can order by created at and limit is fine so uh, what it basically does is uh, it orders this created at table uh, in the ascending order that is small to big that means the uh, earliest date and then we are limiting it five so uh, limit five in the sense we are getting only five records so if i execute this you will get the five oldest customers okay so if uh, i go here order by created at in descending order then you will get the latest one okay so if i do this as you can see it is the date is 2017 here and uh, if we go back to the previous uh, answer the date is 2016 so these are the oldest customers uh, or the users you can say if i remove the limit from here then what we will get is we will get the entire users uh, starting from the oldest to the newest as you can see we have got the 100 rows again and uh, the date is 2016 and then it will go till 2017 okay so this was the first uh, question or the business problem like five oldest users of the instagram okay so we need not go back to the ppt here because i have already written the questions okay so let's go and uh, solve the second question so what uh, second question is find the users who have never posted a single photo on instagram so uh, now here we have to deal with excuse me so photos uh, table and also the users table so let's get uh, the data of photos and users here so this is uh, the data of photos and users uh, i have got both the uh, content of the tables uh, in one select statement so here you can see id username and created at was the data of users right so this remaining data that is id image url user id and created date uh, is uh, the data of photos okay so we want to get uh, the users who have never posted a single photo on insta so what you can do is uh, you can use joins here so basically uh, we will start with select star from users that is this users and then i'm using an alias here as you okay then i'm joining left using left join here so left join is nothing but it joins a photos table okay so and photos table uh, sorry it joins users tables that means it takes all the content of users tables and left joins photos p okay left join photos p in the sense it will take uh, all the content beside user id as you can see this is the user id we are joining it on photos so it will consider only these columns id image url and user id it won't consider the created date of photos table okay now uh, where image url is null okay so that means where there is no image uh, we are getting those data and we are ordering it by username okay so this will give us uh, the uh, users who have never posted a single photo on instagram so as you can see uh, here uh, we are getting a uh, username then created date id image url user id and created it you basically here these things are null so that means uh, there is no data of these users that means they have not posted an uh, image here okay so we will get a username uh, that is anya hacker then bartholom bernhard okay so the names are pretty much difficult to pronounce here so these are the basically users who have no, never posted the single photo okay so if you want to just get the users that is u dot username then you can use like this so basically i had uh, like selected everything so you will get these type of data okay so if you because we want just the users right so we can select only the username okay so
so yeah so this was the second question and the third question is identify the winner of the contest and provide the details of the team okay so winner of the contest was like who has most number of photo likes okay likes on the photos okay so this query a bit difficult or you can say uh, a bit complicated okay but don't worry uh, so first we'll understand like uh, as you can see uh, we need to have the data of uh, likes so here there are likes table then we need to have photos table and users okay so we need to make use of these three tables that is the content of these three tables and then uh, we will get the data so first we will select the likes of photo id here okay this is the photo id of likes table and then users dot username from here this is the users dot username then count of likes of user id so basically we are counting this user id and we are renaming it likes okay okay or you can rename it as a uh, number of likes okay so from likes so likes is nothing but the table so don't get confused here because the alias name is like okay let's name it as number of likes i need to change it also other way uh, yeah yep number of likes okay so this will give us like how many uh, people have uh, like like the photo so basically we are selecting likes from a photo id like photo id from here and then username from here and then count of user ids here okay so basically how many user ids have as the number of likes so this user id is nothing but uh, the user id who has like that photo okay from likes so we are inner joining photos on uh, photo id and photos dot id so that means we are joining this table and this table at common point that is photo id and id so basically this is the common key photo id and this is the id okay so we are joining these table then also we are joining inner join users on photos not user id that means we are joining this users id and user id okay so these two tables we are also joining using inner join then we are grouping by the data using uh, the photo id of likes table okay this table and username of this table okay then we are ordering by the number of likes descending that means uh, how many like most number of likes so descending is nothing but like uh, biggest to smallest okay so this will give us like photo id 145 and username zack or camera 93 and he has got 48 number of likes okay so this is how it is done okay so you can just try this query and understand how it is done so basically we are joining uh, three tables likes photos and users differently that means we are joining first likes and photos then photos and users using inner join okay and then we are counting the number of photo ids as like or user id as the count of likes okay number of likes so this is how you get uh, the winner of the contest so the next question is identify and suggest the top five most commonly used hashtags so basically we are using going to use photo tags and tags column here or table you can say and then if you look into this data uh, this is uh, photo id tag id and id uh, photo id and tag id is photo tags and tags is nothing but id tag name and created that okay so five most commonly used hashtags we can get using like this this query okay so we are selecting tag name here that is this tag name and count of photo id here so basically you are, we are counting photo ids here as hashtags okay it is nothing but hashtags from photo tags so basically this is the photo tags table and we are joining inner join using uh, photo tags p inner join tags p uh, on uh, t.id so basically we are joining it on uh, tags t.id and photo.tagid so this and this we are joining it okay so inner join will retain us like the common data so as you can see there are thousand rows here okay so we will get all the common data that means uh, how many hashtags or there are no number of records repeated here between the both tables so after inner join uh, on tags t uh, on uh, both the ids we are grouping it by tag name that means this we are grouping so what it will do is suppose smile has uh, come five times then it will group that smile into one okay tag name and order by hashtags so basically this uh, order by hashtags is nothing but the photo id okay so as you can see smile photo id is 14 so that means this photo id user uh, has used this hashtag so this we are counting here okay and in descending order so if i run this query you will get this kind of output 
So smile has occurred 59 times, then beach has occurred 42 times, and party has occurred 39 times. In uh, so it goes on like this. Okay. So these are the five most. Okay. So you can give the limit here. Uh, so here, if I give limit five, we will get the five most used. Basically, we will get the first five. So for smile, beach, party, fun, and concert. Concert. Okay. So the next question is, uh, what day of the week do most users register on? Okay, so we can get this data from the users table here because we have uh, the created date right here. So we can get uh, the uh, day of the uh, user. Okay, so there is one function uh, date format which will give us the so percentage w will give us the day from this date. Okay. So in this date format, we are passing created at that means this we are passing and we are getting the day. Okay. So as D I have taken. Okay. If I take date or day, we can take. So okay, let's take day. Okay. So as day, then count of username we are taking. So basically, we are counting this username. And from users, group by one. So basically, now uh, here I have used group by one and order by two. So group by one in the sense the first one okay so this date format this is the first one one okay and that is first column and order by two in the sense the count of username we are ordering it okay from users and we are ordering it in descending order so this is how we get so thursday has 16 and sunday has 16 users registered and friday has 15 users registered so basically thursday has many users registered so in this way it goes like that okay so the uh, on this days uh, we get most number of users registered okay so the next question is provide how many times does average user posts on instagram okay and also provide the total number of photos on instagram or total number of users so as you can see if i uh, run this table we, uh, we will get a thousand rows here but uh, if I uh, run only this, uh, select start from photos. So as you can see, 257 rows are written. That means that is the total number of uh, photos on Instagram. That is 257. Okay. And then if I go to users, just a simple math. Okay. The 100 rows are returned here. So that means there are total number of users are 100. And total number of photos on Instagram are 257. So if you do the math here, provide how many times does the average user post on Instagram? That is nothing but 257 by number of users. That is 100. That is 2.57. Okay. So this we are doing it using the query here. Okay. So basically uh, we are using uh, with base as okay, and then select uh, u dot id as user id. Okay. Let's go and type both the data here because we need to understand like how the data is right so as you can see uh, we are using u u dot id u dot id is nothing but the user id okay and count dot p dot id is nothing but photo id as photo id from users u okay so we are taking a uh, photo id uh, and from users u sorry uh, photos p and then we are left joining photos p on user id and u dot id so basically user id and id have been joined so id and user id have been joined at common and we are left joining the table okay so once this is complete we are grouping it by uh, u dot id that means users dot id this one we are grouping it okay so next we are selecting sum of photo id okay so basically this is the sum so we will get uh, the count of photo id that means 257 as total photos and count of user id is nothing but this one so we will get 100 here and then as total users and then sum of photo id by count of user id as photo per user so this is basically the same calculation which we had done okay so if i run this we'll get like this so total photos are 257 total users are 100 and photo per user is 2.5 okay so the next question is provide data on users who have liked every single photo on the site Okay, so since this any normal user would not be able to do this. So this is nothing but the bots. We are getting the data of the bots. Okay, so we need to have uh, the knowledge of this tables, users and likes. So this is user ID, photo ID and created at 
is nothing but the likes table and id username and created that is users table okay so what we are doing is same with base as we are selecting username then count of photo id so basically we are counting photo ids here as likes from likes l and we are inner joining users u on uh, id and user id so this we are joining user id and id and then we are grouping by username this okay so from this we are selecting username and likes uh, from base where likes of select count star from photos is nothing but we are calculating uh, the photos table like if i run this query you will get 257 records like this so you will get the count of uh, like total number of records available in photos table so what it does is so basically uh, uh, we are finding a user who has liked 257 all so this uh, this says where likes is equal to 257 and order by username that means who has liked uh, 257 times something like that okay so if i run this you will get uh, the uh, bots okay so basically as you can see Anya Hackett is a bot, then Bethany is a bot, then Duane is a bot, Jacqueline is a bot, okay. So, they have like 257 times. That means uh, there are 257 photos in the database and they have like 257 photos. So, this is the behavior of the bots, okay. So, this was a simple uh, Instagram user analytics project. So, basically, we have done this. So, first five questions were with respect to the marketing. That means five oldest users then second one were uh, inactive users like who have never posted then who has most number of likes that is contest winner then hashtag research like top most hashtags then what of the uh, most users register on okay so this is marketing with respect to marketing and with respect to investor matrix uh, so user engagement was needed that means uh, how many times the user average user posts on instagram and then bots and fake accounts okay so that uh, we can reduce uh, like reduce these activities okay so this was all about today guys uh, like a simple uh, basic SQL analysis of user analytics of Instagram okay so hope you understood something and uh, learned something and uh, if you get some doubts on these SQL queries you can pause the video and try to understand and uh, try to run these queries like one line by line then you can understand also uh, pay attention to at what uh, common key we have joined both the tables okay so that you will get a thorough understanding of all the concepts here okay so hope you learned something uh, if you like this video do hit the subscribe button until then take care bye bye